My studio isn't always the most tidiest room in the house. In fact, if it is messy, it means I'm hard at work on a current project. If I'm seen cleaning my studio, then I'm putting off starting a new project, avoiding my desk. Even though it is a small room in our house, it has a few different areas. There's one desk at which I paint and draw. It looks out into our garden and I call this the play desk. I also need somewhere to keep all my art materials. I love to collect and experiment with paints, inks, coloured pencils, markers, anything I can get my hands on. I have another desk, more like a workstation, that has my computer screen and scanner. I also work in animation, as well as children's books. So you might have seen my first show, Henry Huggemonster, on Disney Junior. And I'm now working on a new show called Eureka, which will be out next year. My shelves also hold all kinds of characters and creations, including my stamp collector I made in art college, toys from my very first Disney Junior show, Henry Huggemonster, and the ravenous beast puppet. You can also see some of my inspirations, Jim Henson's Sesame Street, Moomins, and Pixar. Like most authors and illustrators, it all begins with reading. And in our house, we have hundreds of books, lots of picture books too, many of which are on the shelves in my studio. Sometimes my own kids come in to use the studio to make creative work of their own. And sometimes I'm visited by my studio dogs, Nim and Murphy. It's a really nice space to make my work.